God, praise for this opportunity, my God. I bless God today just to see this day. But the day is Mother's Day. Hallelujah. I give God praise. I give Him glory. I give Him honor. I may not get the gift that I wanted, but hey, so I am alive. I am well. And I am doing fine, my God. That is enough to say to God, be the glory for the great things He has done. Oh, come on, Mother, stand in the house today. Put your hands together for God. Hallelujah. To Reverend Kelly and Mrs. Kelly, God bless you. To Sister Lydia and your presidents, I you know I give God praise for the opportunity to come to share just a word to the mothers. Hallelujah. Mothers, look at God and mother and say, we are special. Yes. We are a special breed of people. Yes. Royalty. Yes. Chosen generation. Yes. Set aside by God. Yes. In the name of man, you can't be that. You can't look at your name and say, you can't be that. God is good. That God is good. Hallelujah. And you know, I only want to go to the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 18. It says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. Man, you want to hear that? It is not, this is what the Lord is saying. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me. Hallelujah. That is why I'm mad this morning. God has made us as a help meet. We are there to meet your need, man. The Bible also says when a man finds a wife, he finds a wife a good thing. So look at your wife if you have your wife in the house this morning and say, I have found a good thing. I have found a good thing. Then we go into to, to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 10. It says, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above movie. You hear that, man? For her price is far. You know, movies are expensive. Some of us can't afford movies. For her price is far above movie. The heart of a husband does safely trust in her so that she have no need for another man. That's what the word sports mean. She has no need to go looking elsewhere. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flex and working willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship that bringeth forth food from afar. She rise also while it is yet night and give meat to her household and a portion to her maid on my enemies. She can sell a field and buy it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. She girded her loins with strength, and she strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchants is good, and a candle going not out by night. She lay her hands to the spindle, and her, her, her hands hold the, the trial. She stretched out her hands to the poor, yet she reaches from her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household is clothed with silk. With silk. She making herself covers with tapestry and, and her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. When she sitteth among the elders of the land, she maketh fine linen and sells it. She delivered a girl unto the merchant. She strengthened her arms. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in the time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue, and her tongue is like unto knowledge. She looking well to the ways of her household, and eat not the bread of idols. Her children rise up early, her children rise and call her blessed. Her husband also praise her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but she will deceive them, she exceeded them all. Favor is the, the, the same. Favor is deceit, and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own, her own works praise her in the gates. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
I love this part where it says, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord shall be praised. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. As we look at this virtuous woman, a woman of power, a woman of character. Can I, Pastor, can I take off this hat, please? Thank you very much. Glory be to God. I feel much so now. Thank you, Lord. A woman of valor. She is a virtuous woman. She's a woman called aside by God. She's a woman who, who is one who is ready and willing to do what God says the Lord. She is a woman who is ready to make her house a chosen place to dwell. She's a woman of prayer. She's a woman of integrity. She's a woman of strength. She's a woman of valor. She does what her husband says to her. But most of all, she is a woman of God. Yeah. A woman that fears God is known in the gates. She is a woman well worthy to be praised. So mothers today, look at yourself. If you are a woman of virtue, if you are a woman of valor, look at yourself and say you are worthy to be praised in the gates of the Lord thy God. I don't care what you go through. We have mothers, we go through many things. If you look at me, you'll say that she looks like she ain't got no children. Yes. I have, I have two boys. One is 25 and one is 20. Trust me, to raise boys in this country today, it is a struggle. Yes. It is tough yes. to bring up a man without a father. I thank God that I have my husband with me to bring up these two boys. Trust me, sometimes you feel like pulling off your weave. You feel like taking off your shoes and licking them with it. You feel like taking something else and chopping them with it. That's how serious the struggle is in the country with your children, whether they be boy, whether they be girl. Sometimes you want to tell them, get out of my house. Right. Find where you can live better than you live in here. Right. They make it feel like you are at war with them. You are in a struggle with your own children. You trying to tell them, go left. They can tell you, mommy, I've been from that time. I go in right. I'm going to hear from you. You go to work and come back and make the house a sin. You say, well, Jesus, you mean I am at war with my children? You mean that my own children are so rebellious? But you got to look at the situation. You got to be a woman of prayer. You got to be a woman of the word of God. The thing that enemy comes in like a flood. The Lord say, I, the Lord thy God, will lift up a standard. And you got to lift up a standard in your home, mother. I know your children come up against you. You look at them and you say, Today, devil, in the name of Jesus, this is my house. I work hard for this. Now you will go by what the Lord said. Pop your back. See you later. And it... <laughs> we got our children given us fat. Husband given us fat. Neighbors given us fat. The job giving you fat. The church giving you fat. So who can you turn to? Man, when I look at it and I say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I go? Who would I turn to? Sometimes as mother's man, you're hurting so much, you can't even tell the husband what's going on. They looking at you and say, but we in a worry today. But your eyes are focused on God. Your eyes are focused on God. And you say, God, whatever it is, you got to come and calm the midst of the storm. You got to bring the storm down where I can be comfortable. But I hear the Lord God say, I will never leave you nor forsake you, my God. Sometimes these husbands want to walk out on you. But what could you do? I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where it's come. My help for my help come from the Lord. Mother's man, you gotta be a praying mother. You gotta be a mother of war. It's time to do warfare in this country. It's time to take back what the devil stole. My hook, da 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 da, push da 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 da. It's time to war. That God will fill you with His anointing. That the power of God will come upon you like never before. We have been struggling too long. Amen. 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 Too long. Too long. We go through sickness. But it ain't nothing the devil like to bring on the people of 
God's sickness. He comes from left, right, and center brand new. That my God is in the vessel, and he say he's gonna smile at every storm. So women, if you are a woman of power, if you are a woman ready to do what thus said the Lord, my Lord, you gotta do is stand still. See the very salvation of the Lord. Yeah, they said they will take your land. Stand still. See the salvation of the Lord our God. Whenever they come up against you, you say, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou wilt draw thyself from me, yeah. where shall I go? Yeah. Where shall I go? Yeah. Where shall I go? Yeah. My name is here, the Lord saying, Stand still. I will fight your battle. I will do this for you. And God will move by his spirit. Don't you know God will address us? In the garment of praise? Don't you know God will wear us on him? He didn't only call the men, you know. He called the women also. Remember at the tomb, who was there first? Mary. You gotta understand the women was right there. You gotta understand God is God. And besides him, there is none other. If the men gonna put down their tools, God will take the women and pick it up. And God say, run with the mantle. I don't care who I gotta use. It could be male or female, but I will get the job done. I'm gonna do what I got to do. My women in the high not tell us to know. The Lord calls also. Amen. And it's time to move for God. It's time to move with our space of complacency. Yeah. Red, we be complacent. We like to complain. We like to murmur. We have too much excuses. Every time Red say, who want to do this? Man, Red, I can't do that. Man, you got to burn up your noise. You got to get strength. You got to come like a butcher's woman. I tell Red, I might not understand, but I don't get into this thing. I try to tell you I can't do this, and I can't do that. Red say, don't pray. Oh, you're scared. You're scared to call on the name of the Lord. Why? Why? He said, if my people that are called by my name, humble ourselves and pray, God says, seek my face, turn from your wicked way, then you will ask the only way to get an answer. That's the only way to get a blessing, man, where you know I can't pray. You know I can't read the scripture, man. You know I can't, no excuses. And then when somebody, that's it, that's the thing they don't understand correct. When somebody else walk in the church, and the realm ordained them to be minister, or ordained them to be deacon, you will get the whole time. But you got too much excuses. God can't use your excuses. Rev, I don't understand, but if you teach me, I will get it right. Yeah. If you come to prayer meeting and like Rex said, we got habit, or first lady call it, come to prayer meeting, but we got too much excuses. I had to go to the washhouse. Yeah. You can go to the washhouse anyhow. Right. Man, you got to put priority where business in the house of God. Right. And I, I, am, I am convinced yeah. that the time is not spent for excuses. Yeah. Right. We got to do what we got to do for the Lord now. Yeah. I'm glad that there is women's day so we can hear. What God said the Lord. Some of us make the goal to have our little party and our little social, you know. I wish this woman would hurry up so I could go home, church out, so I could have my little social, but it ain't no see, listen here. God is way better than your little social. Because when you need the Lord, you gotta call upon him while he is there, that's what the Bible say. One day God will sit on our moisty seat forever. God has been giving you chance of the chance of the chance. See, I, I go and I wait for my scripture because the Lord is pulling somebody in here, is pulling my spirit. Because they've been going through a lot of stuff. But if you get out that completing spirit, I can this, I can that. Rev asked you for a couple of dollars to buy a pig for the church. Everybody get excuse. We got our own bill. Everybody will do this. Everybody will do that with this. But if you come together and you build the house of the Lord, what how the Lord is going to work for you? What how the Lord is going to do what you need to be done? Without you asking, there are some hidden things in us. We have not asked the Lord yet, but he sees and he knows. And God is saying, if you come to me, I will no way cast you out. Amen. God is your friend today. Yes. God is your friend. Yes. You don't need to run. Can I get some water, please? You don't need to run to anybody else. 
God is the way, the truth, and the life, the Bible says. No man coming unto the Father but through God. God is the one who died for you. He is the one who was resurrected for you. He is the one who's going to have the heaven and earth to put you in. He said, I go to prepare a place. And if I go to prepare this place, he said, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where he is, you will be there also. Aren't you tired of this miserable life? Yes. Man, you're going through too much of struggles, yes. too much of trial, yes. everything coming up against you. The devil will leave you alone. Have you ever noticed this? You go pay your mortgage. Promise you get home, you lie off. Promise you get home, the, 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 the people telling you the cable going off. Promise you get home, one of the children need to go to the hospital. Promise you get home, this thing happened to your mother. This thing happened to your father. You say, God, what can I do? But all I can do is stand and look to the hills to the Lord and say, Father, if you don't rescue me, if you don't come to my rescue, what shall I do? Who can I turn to? Who can I run to? See, but some of us got some people we can call. Some of us got some telephone numbers we do away with. Yeah. You understand? These some secret pals we have. We ain't do away with them. So we can call them for $150 or $100 and they'll be called back and call for day. When you walk in God's house and you come up and you confess to God that you are God's child, let me tell you something, that is an indictment on you. If you don't want to be saved, you might have to come up to the altar. But I'm telling you, as long as you step to the altar of God and you're still up there doing what you think that you should do, honey, let me tell you something, payday is coming after a while. You're going to be exposed. Haven't I mean, you seen a lot of people being exposed in the Bahamas? Haven't you seen a lot of pastors being exposed? God is exposing the filter. God is exposing the mess. I don't care who you is. God said, look here, I am God and besides you, me there is none other. So you got to get on the bond, Michael. Let God do what he has to do. On this Mother's Day, turn your face to the Lord. Turn your cup to the Lord. Tell the Lord, I need you. I need you to fill me. I need you to anoint me. I need you, Lord God, in my life. I don't care if you're Baptist. I don't care if you're Methodist. God can use all of us. So you got to twang yourself to God. You got to give yourself to God. You say, God, I am coming after you. And God said, I will fill you. I will anoint you. I will appoint you. In the name of Jesus. God said there's only heaven and hell. That's right. And we look like we rather hell right. than heaven. Yeah, we can't share hell here. And we want to die and go to hell. That's double, double jeopardy. I don't, I don't want that. Right. I'm catching enough hell. I think this is hell here. Right. There's enough hell as we are catching. Yeah. I think this is enough for me right here. Yeah. I don't want to go beyond this point. But we look like we rather go after what the devil is sharing out. I don't know what he's sharing on, but I know one thing. My God is better than anything that you can handle. My God is better than any disease that you can carry in your body. Don't let nobody fool you. God is a healer. I mean God is a healer. I mean God is a healer. Because I'm a going... Thank you. I've been going through something from March came in. My foot swelled right up. I'm talking about this one big as a balloon. And everybody was telling me, go to the doctor, get your foot checked out, see what's wrong. Some say even might have been diabetes. All kind of story coming. Your foot could get cut off. But I, I just want to look, I just want you to see the, see the star over the left. God is so awesome. Even with the foot swell up, even with the, I don't know if Sister Lydia ever seen me with a foot swell. But even with the foot swell, trust me, I was still in the house of God. I was still interceding. I was still moderating. I was still doing what God said the Lord. And all of this, let me tell you something, I have not taken a painkiller from the foot swell up bastard. I'm not telling you no lie. I didn't have to take. And they all be body running, man, you gotta go to the doctor. Man, you got a this, that I know, the, the foot was draining us like crazy. Sweat right up the whole entire foot. My husband come to me one on one evening from church. 
I didn't go. He said, Ma, I went to church at four. Well, I didn't go. So he came to me and said, Ma, I'm going to your clothes. Let me take you to the doctor, Ma. Look at this foot getting worse. I said, look, I am looking for the God who says he's the healer. Until he heals this foot. I am not going to no doctor. I need to take a shot as the Lord limit. I need to take a shot, nothing. You know what I did? I trust God and I tie the alibis on it every morning. Yes. And let me tell you something, one morning when I get up, the spelling was down. I just looked at the foot, the spelling was down, but it was still passing. And I started to move up and down. Amen. One day when I looked, scale began to come on it. Yes. I didn't have no worry no more for the spelling and the, and the possible was coming out. I tell you, God is a healer. Amen. God is a healer. God can do a person thing above all we can ask. Think or imagine. I don't care what it is. God can do it. He is the God of our salvation. He is the rock of our salvation. My church, you want to be glad enough to give the Lord a praise, to tell the Lord thank you, to bless his holy name, to lift him up because he is worthy of all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the majesty. So whatever you're going through, God, whatever you're going through, people of God, remember that God can do abundantly and above all, that we can ask, we can think, we can imagine. Because he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. The Lord also said, you are wonderfully and you are fairly made by God. I am the one who created you. Once you were not people, but now you are the righteousness of God. God is saying, stand for me. Do what you can for me. While it is yet day, for the night coming, when no man can work. Yes. I want every mother to be blessed. Listen here. Whatever you don't get, whatever you expected and don't get this Mother's Day, man, bless the Lord. Amen. Give the Lord praise. Amen. There's so many mothers today. They are looking to take your place. Amen. Some of them in the hospital this morning. Yes. Some of us are dead, begging to get buried Saturday coming. Yes. Some of us, some of them born Saturday. But the Lord allowed you to be alive. My God, you are to stand on your feet. You are to bless the Lord. You are to give the Lord a praise. You are to tell him thank you. You are to bless his name. For he is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all children. Listen here, God is good. Yes. And he is worthy yes. to be praised. Yes. If you are a mother yet, bless the Lord. Yes. Your day coming. God ain't going to leave you out. Your day coming. Yes. And to be a mother is a special thing. It is very special. Now, it's special when children get small. Like I said, when they get big, you gotta do it the whole prayer. When they get big, you gotta you, you gotta go and teach with the session. You gotta go and warfare cry. You gotta you, you gotta load up your birds like never before. You gotta pull on all the whole arm of God. You gotta strengthen yourself. But when they baby, you know, you can just run behind them and say, boy, oh, that's a good little baby, eh? But when they get paid, you gonna get sense. You say, oh, Lord, God, Almighty, Father in heaven and earth, what, what do I have? Where did I get them all hop around? They can't, like I tell my husband, they are my noise. They are his noise. They are his generation. I only carry this. They from him. Whatever body used to do when he was younger, they get it from me. They get it from me. You know, I give him my excuse. That I don't need a carrier. I don't need an incubator. So when I reach an hospital, I, I deliver, and that was the one who gave. So, so you know, I, I, and every time I do something, I say, you, you look, you take this out of your path. Because you are off his loins. And I give God praise and I give him glory. You know, we gotta keep praying. Even if you don't have no children, pray. Yes. Pray, pray for this country, pray for your neighborhood. Pray, pray that you never pray before a man I never heard about so many murders in the Bahamas, man. In the place of 10 days, we had what, what, eight murders, my God. Young men, young men dying on the streets, shooting with guns and knives and, and things like that. I remember when we were young, you slapped one another. By, by, by in the evening, you just talk, 
and they will remember it for 10 or 20 years. And I give God praise that there is a God. Yes. Like my husband said, it's better than it looks. It's better than it looks in the Bahamas. We can still praise God freely. Yes. We don't have to hide in our houses. We don't have to run in our cars to praise God. We can start on the street. We can still have street meetings, but God said, these are the days that you get up there and you do. You do what God said the Lord. You put your hand to the spindle. You put your hands to help people. This is what the virtuous woman is saying. Get up there and do something. Be helpful. Now, you know, some of us women, we can be very stingy. When it comes to giving our money, the world goes there. Some of us can do it. You see, I try to get this new home. You see, I try to get this new car. And somebody over there is hurting so bad. And you shut up your bowels of compassion. How long do you think you will get the house? How long do you think you will carry for the house? You will save in the bank, and let me tell you the more, and all the other things will come and eat that money right up. Why? Because all kinds of things start happening. Yeah. All kinds of things. But if you open your bowels of compassion as women, then I'm talking to you right now. As women, yeah. bless somebody. Amen. Bless, meet somebody. Why you know a neighbor who needs a plate of food? You know. Yeah. And you cook and control to the dog. And that neighbor right there hungry, the children hungry. You see the, 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 the young children going to school with the shoes. You want to help them. All this is what we call mothers. Yeah. It may not be your child, but somebody else's child. Just for your child to go to school with, with, with lunch, make sure somebody else's child gets a lunch. Yes, amen. I didn't tell you go and get into people's business. But we can be helpful. But you know some of us, when we have 80 years, we want in everybody's business. Yeah. Uh -huh. In your business, if my husband leave. In your business of being a sweetheart. In your business of bringing out a food in the public. If the Lord say, go and bless me, say, sister, this is yours. The Lord says, I will help you. This is what motherhood is all about. Being women, virtuous women. Women of kindness. Women of gentleness. Women of meekness. Women of humble spirit. Some of us so like to row. Yeah. People let's look at you saying you're black. I know you're black, so you just help, you just confirm it. What are you around you for? Right. You just confirm that I'm black. Right. Somebody say, Oh, you're fat? Yeah, you confirm it. I get a lot of love all around. Yes. Right. I don't need to rob you for that. Now that you tell me I know how to do something about the day. Oh, but some of us we give one another, we give somebody here a dress to wear to church. Well, my sister show up to church, you don't tell everybody. I buy that. Now, how do you think I can feel if I walk in here with a dress you holler when you buy? I try to come and show off the thing, but you holler when you buy it. So how are you feeling? I just do my come my own and say, yes, yeah, she buy it. Now, nah, and make me feel low and a rat. Because you already run your mouth. But God is not like that. When he blesses us, he can make every whole world. He can set a table before our enemies. He can set that table. And he can tell you, tell them, come and dine, man. Come and feast to my table. I've got them, you know, come. Come, man. Come, man. We, 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 we can kill the, the biggest cow. We can, we can put the best wine. We, we can put the best china. Oh, man, you, you are an invited guest. That's how you kill your enemies. You are.